I'm Art Suansang. I'm a photographer. I'm an educator at University of Laverne, and I'm a color influencer. I think photo education is important to set the proper foundation for our students in, in terms of color management. So when they go out into the real world, they would understand entirely how to make sure their screen and their print matches up perfectly and so forth. Now what happened is a lot of times there's a lot of photographers in the industry and uh, they may have not have a class in color management and the first inclination of problem that they have is actually when they get their print back from the lab and they're looking at it and their thought is that my print does not match my screen or it's not something that looks familiar to them. Our monitors are actually the most deceiving device you could probably ever own. So what we have to do is we have to calibrate our monitors and x ha certainly have a variety of solutions from the uh, entry level devices to a really professional caliber device as well. When we're doing the calibration, it's really crucial to understand how to set our monitor properly to get a proper print media. A large problem of color management can be solved by setting the proper luminance point on the monitors that you have. And the proper value for that should be between 80 to 100 candelas per meter square. Having a proper calibrated monitor is super, super crucial to your color workflow. And it's everything that we do because we are visual artists. When I use color in a photograph, I tend to want punchy, super vibrant color. If I'm photographing a person and I do wedding and portrait photography, so I, first thing first is to make sure the skin tone is proper. I make sure that there, it's not overly saturated, it doesn't shift to the orange, and it doesn't have any green or uh, purple hues or anything like that. So first of all, I deal with the skin tone, make sure I get that proper, and then I would go and adjust the other parts of the image to bring the color out for example, making the sky more vibrant and so forth. Part of the whole workflow that I do that in, in my color management is that many times I would use a color checker passport to photograph a reference image with that, bring it into Lightroom, create a custom DNG profile for that particular lighting situation, apply it throughout, and then go ahead and make further adjustment to the skin tone, make sure that it's proper. But all of this is being done while I'm viewing a properly calibrated monitor as well. So from that point, I make sure that I have my print profile set properly and everything. And what I would do is most of the time, my prints would match perfectly with my monitor. And that's, that's something that we all should aspire to have and to, to be able to achieve in our work. Mm -hmm.